Hello, my name is Glenn Aaron, and I want to tell you the tale of three. That is, the three books that I've written, which by the group we call the Prison Trilogy. In our first video segment, I described the Ronnie Lee and Jackie Bancroft Spencer Morgan story, which was the seminal legal representation that led me to federal prison for a two-year term. Upon arriving at Butner Federal Prison in North Carolina, I was assigned to George Trofimoff as my cellmate. George was serving a life sentence for a conviction of spying for the KGB. My year of incarceration in that cell with George led me to write the Colonel George Trofimoff story, the tale of America's highest ranked military officer convicted of spying. This book is divided into three parts. Part one is the story of George's life, having been born in a Russian emigre community in Berlin, and by the age of 14, trying to escape German conscription in World War II. It is the story of a young man seeking freedom and ultimately arriving in the United States, joining the army and serving for 40 years. Part two is entitled, The Sting. As Colonel George Trofimoff retired from the Army, the FBI came to suspect him of spying based on a, upon a generalized statement from a KGB defector in Great Britain. However, there was no direct evidence, only suspicion. It is the story of overreach by the Department of Justice and its FBI. This overreach was tantamount to psychological torture and the ruining of a man's life, indeed a United States citizen. In the early part of part two, you will read of the sinister, lying approach of the FBI agent. He called himself Galkin, although that was not his name. George would later learn the Russian defector, Vasily Matroykin, had written what he had called the Matroykin Archives. Although at present that would not mean much to him, to George, he would also learn in time that Galkin's lie about his missing KGB agent in these communications was just a ruse to entrap Colonel George Trofimoff by his own government. For months, George chose not to respond to this Galkin and his attempts he just wanted these people, this Galkin, to go away. He had been hurt enough. All he wanted to do now was to work his way out of his own financial troubles. He was anxiously awaiting a loan from his brother, Igor Susamel, the Metropolitan of Vienna and Austria. You will want to read the Colonel George Trofimoff story. It is nonfiction. This really happened. And you will want to read Part three of the story, The Trial, taken straight from the court record.